Hi, I'm Evan Dashevsky, Features Editor with PCMag.com. And I'm Alex Clone, Managing Editor for Consumer Electronics. It's Apple Day! Yay! Yeah, Apple announced a bunch of new products today. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Uh, so I guess we're just going to go run through the announcements as they appeared during the Apple presentation. Uh, first up, Apple Watch. Um, not a huge update. Yeah, well, there's no real hardware update. It's mostly software. Uh, Apple spoke about some new apps that are coming to the watch, like Facebook Messenger. Um, also, you'll be able to use it as a GoPro viewfinder, so you can see what you're recording on the watch itself. Mm -hmm. um, there's some cool new bands coming out. They look yeah. pretty nice. Uh, there'll be a new, I think it's a black stainless steel model. But other than that, not, not a huge exciting update. No. Um, and the new watch OS, and that will be uh, coming out soon. Do we have a date on that? I am not sure of the date. OK, but that will be coming out soon. Yeah. OK, then next up, the biggest uh, quote unquote announcement of the day, the iPad Pro. It's going to be 12.9 inches. It will start at $799. Um, so this is going after prosumers and professionals. Um, and it's a big, powerful iPad. That's the biggest thing that they've ever made. Um, one of the biggest announcements that came along like this is there's two new accessories. One is the keyboard and one is the Apple Pencil, which is very interesting because Steve Jobs said he would never ever have a stylus. Yeah, um, when they were announcing the iPad Pro, I was, I'm was i seeing it as a Surface Pro 3 sort of competitor. Mm -hmm. uh, even what they used to demo it, you know, micro, a whole Microsoft suite mm -hmm. and Adobe apps, it's certainly not geared towards the average consumer. For sure. Um, but yeah, it's a big thing and we'll see how that will play out. Um, definitely going for the, um, for the uh, enterprise crowd, if you will. Uh, and then moving on to Apple TV. Uh, this has been uh, a product that's been around Apple for a long time, but they've kind of had trouble getting it off the ground and kind of becoming a major category, but they're going to try it now. Um, now, one of the cool things with this is they have a new remote that they're calling the Siri remote. Um, a few cool things with this, it has a touch interface, and it also has kind of like a Wii-like interface where they, you can play games on it, and it will be able to... Uh, measure your movements and you can play sort of like tennis sort of games, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's definitely, it's a big step forward for the Apple TV, but we've also sort of seen it before in the Amazon Fire TV. Sure. Um, same sort of remote where you could talk into it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's unclear how much better or worse this one will work. Uh, it did, the demos that they did were pretty cool, where you they, can just say, show me this episode of Modern Family with this actor in it, mm -hmm. and it works pretty seamlessly. If it works like that in real life, that would be great. Absolutely. Now, it did say that they have a uh, universal search, which was very much like the Roku universal search. Roku is what I use at home. Um, their universal search, like Apple, is not that universal. It only goes through search and apps. Um, so uh, I just feel like someone's going to break through and get the first universal search. That will be the big seller for uh, Apple set-top or for set-top devices. Um, but I also think that it sounds like they're really betting big on the apps here. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they showed a few apps today. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I want to do clothes shopping from mm -hmm. my television as they were demoing the Guilt app. Mm -hmm. Um, but it would be interesting, depending on what games they can get um, and other apps, that other developers that they could get to sign on. For sure. And it also looks at, at least by default, that it is you can interface with Siri by just pressing a button, but she doesn't have, or he, you can set it to different ways, doesn't have the voice interaction, but will still just interface with you on the screen, which I actually think is a lot better way to interface with your machines than having the voice interface. Yeah. Um, and then moving on for the other big announcement, the new iPhones are here. So we have the new iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus. They look just like the uh, last year's models of the 6 and 6 Plus, except they have a lot of new changes. Yeah, so physically they're identical. Um, I would say that the biggest new change is 3D touch, mm -hmm. which basically means that they have pressure sensitive displays. So you can press down if you want something to pop up. You could press down harder, say, to open an email preview. Mm -hmm. It looks really cool. It does. Um, I, I'm slightly nervous that you know, you're going to be accidentally 3D touching things all the time. Um, Apple's pretty good with testing their products, mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully that is not going to be the case. Mm -hmm. But uh, it definitely does look like it's a, it's a nice way to differentiate themselves from the competition. For sure. Um, I mean, now that they've gone bigger size to go against the Samsungs of the world, this is a way they can jump over Samsung, um, and especially with also the, uh, they have a second generation fingerprint sensor, which is another thing that Samsung was not able to do quite yet. So, uh, Although now they do it very well. Samsung does it very yes, well. Yes. I'm the newer one. I stand corrected. <laughs> so, um, but this is a very cool. I'm actually very excited for the uh, for the 3D touch, as they're calling it, which is basically force touch with on your screen. Yeah, and they have a new 12 me megapixel camera, which mm -hmm. is up from the 8 megapixel one on the previous phone, mm -hmm. and um, live photos, which basically means that the camera records a second and a half before and after every photo you take, mm -hmm. which is actually another. It, brings to mind HTC Zoe. Um, they did that with the original HTC One, and it was pretty much the same exact concept. Um, just 
adds a little life to the photos. We'll see if people use it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very cool. Or could be very cool. We'll see. Um, we will have hands-ons and uh, full reviews to come, so keep on looking at PCMag.com. I'm Evan Dashevsky. And I'm Alex Clone. And that's where I'm from, PCMag.com.